<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we're going to be on the nostalgia road because we're going to take a close look at the Time Crisis Project Titan with the GCon 45. So in my previous videos, we talked about some of these uh, light gun devices from, yeah, not AliExpress, but the PlayStation. But I was curious about this model, because I never owned it. I can still remember I owned the first edition of Time Christ that come also included in a very nice box and the G-Con Light Gun. And I must say that I was always a big fan of these games, because Light Guns are freaking awesome back in the day. But yeah, how are they now? And this thing is like complete in box, so let's do a quick unboxing together. So first of all, we're going to get the game itself, Time Crisis Project Madhaddon. Oh here, look at this. It even comes with the original receipt from the store. So it has, it seems to be that this thing has been bought from Intertoys and the company still exists. So here it's going to be like, this is the amount of money we're basically paying back in the day, 200 gulden. Yeah, that is basically the old amount now having the Euro. Comes complete, in very good condition. I bought it from a fellow collector who was basically like selling me a couple of products and I just wanted to have it in the collection. So here we're going to find ourselves the light gun. Okay, so let's take a close look inside. Just see how this thing is. Ah, so what I'm very pleased to see is that we're going to get this piece of equipment because this is what we're going to need because these ga yeah, game controllers are light guns required to add this piece between the signal so if you have an, like an rgb cable you're going to have an issue because we don't have the option to plug it in so you're going to get this piece or this adapter you can plug in the controller like that it's quite ingenious and of course we can plug in the normal cable over here so we can basically use this thing in combination with an rgb cable this thing doesn't have any recall function or rumble function so it was kind of more like a plastic if a plastic device but I must say they are quite comfortable and I think I recall it correctly so like the original Nemco controller or the light guns did have I think they had recall in the arcades but yeah maybe I will wrap my like recall gun just for fun to just check it out because I also have like one with recall function it doesn't look anything like this thing but just fun to check it out so let's take a close look at the time crisis game okay so it's quite interesting like this RGB cable does have the function for the input over here or I'm guessing this is for the input, but I will use still the original adapter. This thing also has the RGB and AVO function. So this is quite a deluxe model, but most of the time we didn't have that back in the day. But today we're going to use an old school CRT, of course, otherwise we cannot even use this freaking gun. So let's plug it in like that. Wackle, wackle. And let's plug this thing back in here. Okay, so everything has been attached. Next up, let's get the gun. So it's not like the most convenient thing to do because you need to have like all this cable, cable mumbo jumbo. Okay, let's plug this thing in control the port number one okay so this thing needs to go back in the piece of equipment over here Ugh. seriously like the cable nightmare the cable nightmare okay so let's open it up let's put the game in and let's go with the shoe okay guys so the first thing that we need to do is calibration of the light gun itself so everything is okay and what you can do is like if you don't like it you can just check it out always do like winning a try shooting round to give you a better idea okay pressing the a and b will bring you to the game itself so what i like about this game you don't need any controllers you can just navigate through the menu with the light gun okay so let's see what we can do so basically we're having the time attack story mode and we're having options so let's take a close look at the option first Loading, yep. Oh, I just started the game. Yeah, great. That was not the thing I wanted to do. I guess I remember with the previous game, we can basically shoot at the menu, but this time we just need to press the A and B button. Let's go to option. So here we're in the GCOM 45 calibration, the button configuration. So we can basically like set something of different locations. Yeah, we're having an A, B, B button. Then we're going to get screen adjustments and then having the memory card. There's no memory card insert, so that's not going to be necessary. So time attack, story mode. But let's start with story mode. We're going to put it on easy because I am a big noob in this game. Thank you, dear starling. I see you finally found her. We've been okay. reading your email, Marissa, and you've been a very, very naughty. Mmm, yeah, she's being a very naughty girl. I am really going to like this game. Mm -mm -mm. Or should I call you Abacus? It's quite interesting. So, the story mode is similar to the first game. 
that is one thing to be sure. But let's take a close look at the gameplay itself. James Bond coming in. There he is! There! I will show you how you need to shoot. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, he's using a bazooka on the boat. Danger mode. Dance, baby. Next! Or better said, you drop. Come on, boy. Oh, there goes my extra time. Come on! Okay, so the other mode is time attack. And yeah, I think it's a quite interesting way to play the game again. Because it's going to be quite challenging. So let's choose a, like, say, stage two if I can. And let's see what happens. Like in the previous game. All right, let's be quick. Whoa, there was one in the back there. Holy crap. I must say I really enjoy these games. Damn, gonna hit him. I need a fucking sniper rifle for that. Okay, so I really like this Nemco gun. It's very comfortable, but do you know what's even more cooler? So let's try this one, the one with recoil and with the freaking pedal. Because the pedal is something I'm really missing with the original one. Like pressing the button, it's not really convenient. So let's plug this thing in and let's see how this thing works. Okay, so this real arcade gun has different kind of features. So first of all, we can even use this thing on a Sega Saturn. I will use it on my Saturn. Absolutely, I love to try it out in the future. Also, we're going to need is a power supply for the recoil function. Just going to get yourself a 12 volt power supply. And let's plug it in. The only difference is basically that we're having like a power supply and a pedal. And we still need to use this bad boy for the fucking PlayStation like we did before. Oh, with the pedal is so much better. Oh yeah, that's the way I would play it. And the recall function is such a weird experience compared with the normal. normal. So, come on, boy. Ooh, damn. Who's next? Nobody. Miss me. Oh, in the face. Where is he? There. Damn it. Oh, stage number three is quite difficult. Yeah, here I am. And right up in the face. Oh man, this is just a blast to the past with Time Crisis Project Titan. And I just want to share this experience with you. So basically when I was recording this, I, yep, I was just playing this for the first time. And Time Crisis, the first edition, I played it like too much. And I love this edition too. Like it's this feeling of Time Crisis all over again from back in the days. So the Namco controller, I personally really love it. It's slight as a feather, so it's quite comfortable to play for a very long time compared with this bad boy and all the freaking wires that goes with this thing. Oh man, it's such a like, oh, pain in the butt to be honest. But it's a really cool thing, like the recall function makes a lot of noise, but it's just this feedback that you need to have. Like gives like this arcade uh, authentic experience. And the pedal, oh yeah, we're going to put it to the metal because this thing was, I was missing this so much with the original controller. Let me know, what do you think of light guns? Do you still own them? Do you still play them? But well, thank you for watching, consider subscribing, hit that little bell, become one of the Wicked family, and I will see you in the next video.